Hope Hicks, one of President Trump's closest aides at one point, met today behind closed doors with the House Judiciary Committee. Democrats tried to question Hicks about possible obstruction of justice, but they didn't get very far. Here's Nancy Cordes. Hicks took questions for seven hours, but would not talk about her time in the White House. Even something as simple as, where is your office located? Objection. The White House lawyers with Hicks said she didn't have to answer because of something they called absolute the immunity. And again, there's no such thing as absolute immunity. The White House is just making stuff up. Hicks was one of the president's closest aides. Her name appears in the Mueller report 184 times. Mueller says Hicks witnessed most of the president's attempts to interfere with the investigation. Why not answer the committee's questions, Ms. Hicks? Republicans argued there's nothing left to learn from Hicks, who is now a vice president at Fox Corporation. We're simply talking about things that are already out there in public or are getting the same answers over and over again. Normally, Congress doesn't like it when people don't answer their questions, but you're saying in this case you're fine with it. I just want to make it very clear that this has been something, whether, uh, whether Congress liked it or not, has been used by previous administrations, both Republican and Democrat, so this is not new. But Democrats say this immunity claim for a former White House aide is new, and they're planning to challenge it in court because they have a number of former Trump aides, Maurice, that they want to interview as part of their investigation. Okay, Nancy Cordes tonight. Thank you.